that's food for a scoop remember to subscribe like and comment and help me to share to your family and friends so to the end to know how i cook this soup soup i show how i prepared everything so this is white rice and this is the hand of my children so this is it so let's start cooking so let's start cooking very yummy who the film this is the pancanya i've already put it in my pot so i want to wash and cook then after cleaning it i'm going to pound it so this is the pancanya the measurement is um level painter level the level you know paint paint bucket i would normally use to buy things in the market so this is the level i've already cooked it i want to pound it now as you are watching remember to subscribe like and comment and help me to share to your family and friends and don't forget remember to throw that notification bell so as you can see i'm pounding it now so i'm almost done pounding it I'm almost done pounding it. So after pounding, you need to add water little by little to extract the water from the pancana. The water you are going to use for the soup, for the banga soup, you have to extract water. So you need to be adding water little by little on it. And extract water from it why should you be adding little by little so that the the, the the soup or the water will be thick the water don't need to be watery Open food don't need to be watery it's supposed to be thick but not that too much thick so this is it i'm extracting the water from it I'm done extracting the water from it. So this is it. I'm going to use the sieve again to sieve the water again to make sure there is no shaft in it. So I'll be sure there is no shaft or any stone or anything. So I need to extract it again then put, put in the fire. So let's see it. So this is it hi guys good morning to you all welcome back again to my channel my name is blessing shinon so but i also known as stainless mama kitchen and mom so today i'm let me officially introduce myself i'm from anambra state i'm happy married with two lovely kids so today's topic is you know today is son the um, father's sunday father's day so i want to cook banga soup for my husband so i'm going to show you guys on how anambra women on or, or on how i cook my own special banga soup and everything i'm going to use is all available in the market and very cheap so if if you are my old subscriber thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching thanks for watching if you um, if you have not subscribed to my channel but you are watching my video or you have come across my video or you are about to come across my video please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel like and comment and help me to share to my to your family and friends and also remember to touch that ringing bell to be notified whenever i post a new video or whenever i drop a new video so thanks for watching please remember to watch from beginning to the end and drop your comment in the comment section and if you are close to my side you are free to come and enjoy with me so let's start cooking 
So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use to cook this delicious banga soup. So this is pancanio water that I extract from the pancanio. And this is the meat. I have all kinds of meat here. So this is scent leaf. Nshuanwinibo, we call it in Shuan. And this is pumpkin leaf. Ogo. This is salt. This is dry fish. I have up to three P6 here. This is onion. Red pepper. This is red pepper. And this is ogive awosa. For some people call it ogive and soka. This is spices that we for spices for Ofa. We have a furu, a huru. I don't know their English name, but I have up to three different types of them. And this is crayfish and seasonal cube. So these are the things we are going to use for this delicious special banga soup. So let's start cooking. So the the water that I extract from the pancania. This is it. So I want to start preparing. So I'm going to leave it to boil before starting adding other things. So meanwhile, while waiting for it, we are going to start preparing the maybe we are going to start pounding the crayfish and the pepper together while waiting for this. Adding the crayfish. Some people wash crayfish, but I don't wash it. It's already neat. I've already, I've already removed all the, all the dirt. So no need of washing it. No sand. Adding the gibi also. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and watch to the end. You will enjoy. Let's cook together. Are you a lady planning to marry to Anambra State? And you don't know how to cook this bangash? Follow my channel. You will learn it.
so this is onions um, why waiting for the the pancanial soup the water to get ready we'll be preparing other things so after this we are going to wash our meat and cook Wearing down the but you know, as you woman, if you are cooking this type of food, you need to tie a small wrapper on your waist. So I'm speaking Igbo woman and I'm proud to be it. So we have many ways of cooking. Some people use stock fish to cook, some people use many things to cook, some people use ginger garlic to cook this bangasu. So, but today's own, I'm not going to add any of this. It's only this um, spice that I showed you. And I'm going to use for it. So, I am done pounding it. I am done. We are going to move to another stage. Okay, I have I've washed it for the first time, so I want to rinse it now. I have sink, but I decided to wash it here so that I can wash it very well. I don't want to wash it fast, fast, because I have towel. No, I normally carry sand, so that was the reason I'm washing it here so that I can wash it very well. Even this one. So I can wash it very well. You know, I be typical Igbo woman. So I never need to pump or to slay anything. So this is it.
Because I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to I'm not going to use more spices to cook this this um, this meat. So I'm going to add it only these two spices and uh, salt. I will first of all steam it before adding water. So I'm done. Let me find it. We are cooking the meat. I lower this one because I remember I lower it because I want to add the water for the meat inside the pancanda water. So that was the reason I lower it for now. So after cooking the meat, I'm going to transfer the water inside there and start proper cooking. So remember to subscribe, like and comment, help me to share to your family and friends and friends. So why doing why waiting for the meat? We have a lot of things to prepare like cutting of scent leaf. We have already pounded the crayfish and pepper. So why waiting for meat? Let's start preparing the let's start cutting the scent leaf. Before we start cutting the scent leaf. Let's, before we start cutting the same leaf, let's wash the dry fish and keep before we start cutting the same leaf. Make sure you wash it very well with salt. So keep the seasonal cube by the side and keep. So 
so this is the scent leaf maybe after cooking i will tell you guys the healthy benefits of this scent leaf i don't have help helping hand for now because all of them went to church so i'm the only one cooking So while waiting for the meat to to be done, we'll be doing another things. So I've already done steaming it. I want to add it water. Have you seen it? I've already done steaming it. Adding it a little water. Then come back. As we are waiting for it, we'll be doing another thing. So, this is the scent leaf. I want to wash it. I'm adding this salt. I washed it for the first time, so this is the second time. I only add it again because I did not show you guys on how I wash it. So. This and leaves have many healthy benefits. It has many, many, many healthy benefits. So, after cooking, I'm going to tell you guys the healthy benefits of it. Why you should be eating it. You can use this and leaf to cook native rice with red oil porridge yam and the plantain porridge you can use it to cook it hmm? i want to show you guys step by step i don't want to cut any video so that was the reason i'm showing the video will be long because i want to show you guys all the steps on how i cook it how i prepared everything so that was the reason this video will be much longer than my previous video before so try to subscribe watch to the end if the man that wants to marry you is, is from anambra state maybe you're not from anambra state and you want to learn how to cook banga soup you can subscribe to my channel, share to that your friend that wants to marry to Anambra State to learn from it because I'm showing you guys from the scratch. I'm not cutting anything. I'm going to show you everything. So I'm done cutting this and leaf. So why waiting the meat? We are going to cut the pumpkin leaf, the uga, the ugo. You know, and leaf, we call it in Igbo, Mchuam. So here, here is pumpkin leaf, Ugo, that I'm going to use. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to cut it. And it being I have I have helping hand. I'm done pulling it off, so I'm washing it now. Do you know why I like why you waiting? Let me tell you the reason why I do not add much spices on that meat because it's banga soup. Banga soup don't need more spices. With this spicy that I show you, it will come out very, very tasty. 
very 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 tasty so we are going to pause to make sure that everything is already prepared then once this um, the the pancanel water is done we will start adding everything in less than 15 minutes we are in less than 15 minutes we are done so where is my knife this is how i cook originally so i don't need to form anything So I'm done cutting. This is pumpkin leaf. Why this one is scent leaf? So I'm done cutting. Let me tidy up my kitchen while waiting for the meat and the banga soup. So I'm going to tidy up everywhere and clean the ground while I'm waiting for the. So I have already added the, the meat water. I'm going to add all this meat and allow it to boil before adding any other things. As you can see, it's already for boy. So I'm going to add it all the candy, all the all the chili chili things. Yatago. So I'm going to add it the dry fish. Or you can start with simply whichever way. But I'm going to add it dry fish. Then Add my scent leaves. This is the scent leaf, so I'm going to add it together with the dry fish and leave some minutes before adding my pepper, crayfish, onion, a whole all the yeniness leaves. So do me a favor by subscribing, by liking, and by sharing and also touch the notification bell to be notified whenever i drop or I post a new video so this is it
I've already found one in my white rice, so I'm going to put the final one. I'm going to wash it again and cook it for the last one. rice why waiting for this we are cooking white rice so that once it's done we are going to dish it up yeah. so this one this is the things that I pound the pepper crayfish a full onion all of them are here. So, I'm going to add it here. This is the seasonal cube. Using only toy. Then cover it one side and leave it for some minutes. Adding it salt. So let's check our banga leaf life. I leave it for some minutes. Let's check. We are almost done. Hmm. I'm going to add it more salt again. in this time around so why waiting for that one let's check our white rice
to extra um, I'm going to separate the water from the rice because I don't want the water to to dry off in the rice be I don't want the water to dry off in that rice in this rice particularly so that even if I do not finish or we do not finish today tomorrow we still remain that one 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 why it won't look like agidi like agidi or akam so that is the reason i'm going to pour out the water so that the rice will be one 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 even in the evening you can still eat it it will still look like you you, you cook it fresh so while watching remember to subscribe like and comment Help me to share to your family and friends and remember to touch the notification bell in the next in less than 10 minutes we are done cooking and we are done preparing so this is it so you can see our offer cook is done and i mean it's done it is done but meanwhile before i add i add Ugo. Let's pour out the water from the rice. Shout my my tooth. Let me dish it out. Then I is back from shop, so now it will be everywhere. Thank God I am done cooking. So this is it. The ban soup. This is the white rice. I'm almost done. We are almost done. This is the banga soup, and this is the white rice. And this is white rice. So we are done. We are about to eat. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and help me to share to your family and friends. See you guys in my next video. The heat was more, the heat was more, but thank God I am done cooking. See you guys in my next video. My channel name is Standard Summer Kitchen and more. So, we are going to start another new class again. So, I'm going to add. I'm not going to add all of them. I've already added the, the meat water. I'm going to add all this meat. 
and allow it to boil before adding any other things. So as you can see, it's already for boiled. So I'm going to add it all the candy, all the all the chili chili things. Yatago. So I'm going to add it the dry fish. Or oh, you can start with simply, whichever way. But I'm going to add it dry fish. Then Add my scent leaves. This is the scent leaf, so I'm going to add it together with the dry fish and leave some minis before adding my pepper, crayfish, onion, a whole all the yeniness leaves. So do me a favor by subscribing, by liking, and by sharing. And also touch the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop or post a new video. So this is it. For the for the banga soup, I've already prepared my white rice. So I'm going to put the final one. I'm going to wash it again and cook it for the last one. rice why waiting for this we are cooking white rice so that once it's done we are going to dish it up yeah. so this one this is the things that I pound the pepper crayfish a a full onion ogiriawusa all of them are here. So, I'm going to add it here. This is the seasonal cube.
using a little then cover it one side and leave it for some minutes Adding it salt. So let's check our uh, Bengali flight. I leave it for some minutes. Let's check. We are almost done. Hmm. Going to add it more salt again. in this time around so why waiting for that one let's check our white rice I'm going to extra um, I'm going to separate the water from the rice because I don't want the water to to dry off in the rice I don't want the water to dry off in that rice in this rice particularly so that even if I do not finish or we do not finish today tomorrow is still remain that one 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 why it won't look like a giddy like agidi or akam so that is the reason i'm going to pour out the water so that the rice will be one 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 even in the evening you can still eat it it will still look like you you cook it fresh so while watching remember to subscribe like and comment help me to share to your family and friends and remember to touch the notification bell in the next in less than 10 minutes we are done cooking and we are done preparing so this is it you can see our offer cook is done when i mean it's done it is done but meanwhile before i add i add ugo let's pour out the water from the rice
many in water. Then, this is pumpkin leaf. This is it. So I'm going to add it. I'll soak this up. Let me dish out my my tooth. Let me dish it out. My children are back from church, so now it will be everywhere. Thank God I am done cooking. So this is it. The soup. This is the white rice. I'm almost done. We are almost done. This is the banga soup, and this is the white rice. And this is white rice. So we are done. We are about to eat. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and help me to share to your family and friends. See you guys in my next video. Hey guys, happy Sunday to you all. My name is Trina, so blessing. Also known as Stainless Mama. As you watch my previous video, as you watch my previous video, don't mind me. I was preparing the my vegetable stew. Now I want to tell you guys. The health benefits of this vegetable, the vegetable leaf, the pumpkin leaf, ogo. The one I'm showing you guys is ogo that we call it in Igbo, pumpkin leaf. Now, I want to start. <coughs> pumpkin leaf is rich in vitamin A and vitamin C and also contains fiber and minerals. Now, vitamin A it helps to improve eyesight and promote healthy skin, and it helps in hair. Why vitamin C help in healing wound, healing wound, and maintaining healthy bone and the teeth. That is one of the reasons you will be taking this pumpkin leaf. Pumpkin leaf, you have been in the hospital if you are a diabetes. Some do our doctors will always tell you to eat to eat vegetables. Now I'm going to tell you the reason why they why doctors will always tell us to eat vegetables whenever we whenever we go for check up or to see our physician. He or she will make sure that he tell us to eat eat make sure that you eat vegetables is good whether you are sick or not it is good for everybody no exceptional but i want to basically point in those people that have that have diabetes this leaf is very good is very good if you are having it if you are a diabetes patient this vegetable is very very good in your out because it will help in controlling the sugar it will help in controlling the sugar in in your body or in our body it help in controlling the sugar in our body more especially those that are diabetic 
Now, what about the patient that have high BP, high blood pressure? Vegetable is good. The pumpkin leaf is manga soup or scoop. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and help me to share to your family and friends. So, watch to the end to know how I cook this manga soup. soup. I show how I prepared everything. So, this is my rice, and this is the hand of my children. So this is it. So let's start cooking. So let's start cooking. Very yummy. Mm -hmm. With the filam. <laughs> 